myself. Like, I, I, I just hope wherever my child is that he is okay. That's the mother of this little boy, six-year-old Damari Perry, believed to be missing since Tuesday at 3 in the afternoon from Skokie. Janie Perry says her son went for a party and a play date with a 16-year-old sister. Her friend Monique lives in Skokie and was driving. There was a male passenger known as Wacko or Chaos. Perry's daughter decided to have a drink. She had like a cocktail and I'm guessing someone put something in her cocktail. She ended up falling asleep. When she woke up, my son was gone. The circumstances are leaving the FBI, Skokie Police, and North Chicago PD with little to go on. They did release this. They are looking for a black female named Monique, believed to be 20 years old with a six-year-old son named Tatum. The black male is 22, known as Wacko or Chaos. He had locks and a tattoo with cursive writing above one of his eyebrows. When Perry's daughter came to, that's when Monique said she had no clue where Damari or the man was. The girl said she didn't know, which didn't make any sense because my son was playing with her son before my daughter fell asleep. Perry's 16-year-old daughter returned home without her brother. He was reported missing to North Chicago PD the next day at 8.30 at night. She actually was scared to come home and tell me that, but I'm focused on the bigger pitch, getting my child home safe and sound. North Chicago Police, they are the lead on this investigation in addition to the assistance of the FBI. Skokie Police are also investigating. Obviously, now this case turns into a homicide. Of course, as soon as we get an update from police, we'll make sure to bring it to you here and also online. Live tonight, I'm Tia. Tragic update in the case of a missing six-year-old boy from North Chicago. His mother has been charged tonight with first-degree murder. I've had the police and people acting like I did something wrong to my child myself. Like, as a mother, that really do hurt my feelings, but I'm focused on the bigger pitch, getting my child home safe and sound. That mother now charged with the murder of her six-year-old son, Damari Perry. This morning, Indiana State Police discovered the North Chicago boy's body near an abandoned Gary home in the 700 block of Van Buren Street. His mother had reported him missing Wednesday night after claiming he'd been taken to Skokie by his sister for a play date. She had like a cocktail and I'm guessing someone put something in her cocktail. She ended up falling asleep. When she woke up, my son was gone. Police now saying that story was bogus. The FBI got involved in the case, questioning family members and DCFS caseworkers. The boy's mother, 38-year-old Janie Perry, is charged with first-degree murder, concealment of a homicide, and obstructing justice. His 20-year-old brother, Jeremiah Perry, is charged with aggravated battery, causing great bodily harm to a child, as well as concealing a homicide and obstructing justice. Another juvenile sibling also faces charges. A GoFundMe page has been started to support Damari's stepfather, lay him to rest. Damari's mother, brother, and juvenile sibling will appear in bond court tomorrow. An autopsy is scheduled. A mother is charged with first-degree murder of her six-year-old son. She is one of three family members accused in the death of Damari Perry. Police say the six-year-old from six-year-old rather was missing from North Chicago. Was found dead in Gary, Indiana. Days ago, North Chicago police put out this flyer in hopes of finding him alive. Now they say his family made up the entire story about him disappearing. They say Damari's body was found 70 miles away in Gary, Indiana. Gary police, the FBI, and North Chicago police recovered it, dumped by some abandoned houses. Damari's 20-year-old brother Jeremiah is facing several charges, including aggravated battery and concealing a homicide. A juvenile sibling of Damari also faces charges in a juvenile. Jeremiah's body near an abandoned building in suburban Gary, family members were expressing shock at the horrific circumstances of the child's death. I want answers, and I want whoever, whoever done this to him to pay for what they did. This evening, NBC5 Investigates has uncovered disturbing allegations of abuse in the family dating back at least seven years. In 
2014, Jenny Perry argued unsuccessfully for an order of protection against Damari's father, Dalvin Driver, accusing him of choking her on three separate occasions. She was arrested in October of 2014 on misdemeanor counts of resisting arrest and obstructing a police officer. And we've learned that that was a pivotal year in her long history with the state. The Department of Children and Family Services tells NBC5 Investigates that Perry lost custody of her four children in 2014 after confirming allegations of domestic violence in the hall. In 2014, she gave birth to another child who was taken into state custody. In 2015, Damari was born and likewise was taken into custody by the state, as was another child born in 2017. But that same year, a judge ordered all of the children to be returned to their mother. DCFS says there was no further contact with the family until May of last year, when an allegation of abuse and neglect was filed but was investigated and determined to be unfounded. Dalvin Driver told us over the weekend he couldn't recall the last time he saw his son, but he decried the violence which took him away. I'm hurt, and if, if, if anybody got kids that they you know, don't get to talk to as much as they should, you know, you should check on them or try harder. I want them to really know this really hurt us. Family members of a grieving father returning near the scene in Gary tonight. Hi, Why you Yeah, man. Hi, you. I'm lost, man. I don't feel like I lost a part of myself when I got that news. Where his six-year-old youngest child, Damari Perry, was found dead. This is not replaceable. He not replaceable. We can't go back and get another Damari. The boy's body was found Friday night in an alley between Harrison and Van Buren streets after North Chicago police say he was reported missing Wednesday evening and apparently was last seen on Tuesday. I only had a little time to spend with my baby, man. I wish that I had more. Basically, I just, I just, I just, wish, she, I just wish she was still here. Man. Damari's mother and a sibling initially said the boy was missing in Skokie, but investigators say the evidence didn't add up shifted their focus to the family's home in North Chicago. Police arresting Damari's mother, Janie Perry, his 20-year-old brother, Jeremiah Perry, and another sibling, too young to be identified. My little cousin should have been away from her. We all shocked. We all at disbelief. We all just don't understand how, how she let it get to this point. Now the boy described as once having a huge personality. He was just the life of me, man. He was just like, you know, he could walk in a room and everybody loved him. It's gone forever, leaving behind heartache. She traumatized a lot of people with this. And animosity for his accused killers. I pray God don't have no mercy on them, one of their souls, for what they did tonight, because they hurt my whole family. And an autopsy will be performed on Monday to determine Damari's cause of death. The autopsy results released tonight for the six-year-old North Chicago boy who was found dead in Gary. And I want to warn you that the details of this case are very disturbing. The Lake County Coroner's Office says that the pending cause of death for Damari Perry is hypothermia, extreme cold, rolling at a homicide. The coroner says Damari was found wrapped in a bag on Saturday. His mother, Jenny Perry, and two of her other children are now charged in Damari's death. DCFS investigated an abuse complaint involving the six-year-old last May, but determined it was unfounded. Several years ago, Jenny Perry lost custody of all her children, but then regained. Our story just into our newsroom, the mother of murdered six-year-old Damari Perry is being held on a $5 million bond. Jenny Perry just made her first court appearance. Perry is accused of abusing her son, forcing him to take a cold shower. The six-year-old died of hypothermia. Perry is then accused of making up an elaborate story about how he disappeared. His body was found in Gary last week. Perry will be back in court in February.